So here we are. Um, we're going to do a f some different things today. Some things that we've done before, but some things are going to be a little bit different. So I'll talk it through as we go. The first thing we're going to do is our warm up. We're going to just start with some slow breathing. Okay, so just a little bit of slow breathing, and then we're going to um, start our warm up. Are we okay? Good. Put a little bit of background music on. So take a breath in through your nose to the count of four. One, two, three, four. And then breathe out through your nose as well to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Twice more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. little roll of the shoulders. And roll your shoulders back. Now to the count of four. Breathe in, roll your shoulders back and look up. Two, Three, four. Breathe out, roll your shoulders forwards, look down. Two, three, four. Continue at your own pace, rolling back, looking up. Rolling forwards, looking down. Rolling back, looking up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you roll back. Bow your head as you roll forwards. I'm going to do that twice more. Now we're going to do a little bit of mobilizing of the shoulders. So the first one is we're going to do the right arm and we're just going to rotate round in circles, just the right arm. Gently, slowly today. And I want you to do a figure of eight now. So a figure of eight, again, same side, loosening up that shoulder. And change to the other side. Circles with the other arm. Nice and gentle, loosening up that shoulder. And figure of eight. Fantastic, hold it there. We're just going to do a few little side bends, reaching down side to side. Classic warm-up exercise. I'm not sure if I've ever done a class I haven't done this. <laughs> Apart from boot camp. <sighs> Just let it go. 
gently side to side. A couple more times. Fantastic. Let your arms hang loose. Give me a little twist. Turn in your body. Let your arms hang down. Fantastic. Up onto your toes, onto your toes, high as you can. We're going to just drop the heels down, swing the arms back and push up and swing back and push up. Don't go too fast, gently stretching your back. We're going to do five more, five more, one, two, three, four, and five, perfect, feet nice and wide, take your feet wide, arms up, we're just going to go into a gentle forward fold. Keep your legs straight. Doesn't matter how low you go, just let yourself hang down. Just going to get let those hands hang towards the floor. Head hangs down. And don't bounce it, but just gradually lower it down. Take a few breaths. Every time you exhale, stretch down a little bit more. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down a little bit more. Your hands touch the floor, fantastic. If they don't, don't worry. Slowly unfold. And stop, okay. We're going to move on. Okay, we're going to do a little sequence now. Now we're warmed up, based on the chair pose. Okay, so this is going to be based on the chair pose. And we're going to be holding different positions for different amounts of time. Okay, so. The basic chair pose. We're going to bring the arms up. Inhale. We're going to bend the knees. Exhale. We're going to come up, bring the, push the hands together, and then bring the hands down, pushing the hands together. So that's, this is also a mountain pose that we're coming into. So follow my moves. We're going to go up, inhale, bend the knees, exhale. Push up, inhale, hands together, pushing together. Bring the hands down and release. Again, arms up into chair. Bring the hands together and I forgot what I was doing then. <laughs> okay, we're going to hold for three breaths. Three breaths we're going to hold in each position. So we're going to come up. Hold for three breaths. One, two, three. Into chair. Hold for three breaths. One, two, three. Push up. Hands together. One, two. I'm counting breaths quite quickly. You can go slower. You don't have to match my speed on those breaths yet. Think about taking three slow breaths on each position. So we're going to breathe in. Hold. Into 
share. Halt. Come back up, push your hands together, hold. And bring your hands down. Okay, we're going to do twice more. Twice more. Bring your hands up. Hold. Breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. Into chair. Three breaths. Push your hands together. And back down again. We're going to do one more time. One more. Arms up. Breathe in. Three breaths. Chair pose. Three breaths. Push up. Hands together. Three breaths. Push your hands in. And down. And release. Okay, we're going to progress this now. Okay, so watch me first, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. We're still going to do our chair pose. But then we're going to take the hands back behind. Hold for three breaths. One, two, three. Hands up. And back down. Okay, so now with me. Hands up. Into chair. Bring your arms back behind you. I'm going to turn sideways. Bring your arms back. Hands as high as you can. Hold for three breaths. Hands up. And down. Okay, let's do that again. Hands up. Into chair. Hold for a couple of beats. Swing the arms back. Three deep breaths. Back up, and hands down. We're going to do that twice more, twice more. So, inhale, get your chair position, take your hands behind, three deep breaths. up, push your hands together, and back down. Okay, one more time, one more. Inhale, chair, take your hands behind you as high as you can, three breaths, Arms up and down. Okay, I'm going to progress this again. We're going to make it slightly different. So, watch me first. Into chair again. We're going to swing back, but we're going to clasp the hands together and push up. Back flat, stick your bum out. We're then going to stand up with the arms behind and look up then we're going to come back down into our chair and then we're going to go release and back down again okay so let's take that through slowly arms up into chair 
take the hands behind, head up, clasp the hands together, you can just about see that, push upwards, hold for three breaths, think about squeezing your shoulder blades together, we're going to stand up, hold for three breaths, Back down again. Arms up. And down. We're going to do that twice more. Twice more. So, arms up. Chair. Arms back. Keep your chest up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Clasp your hands together. Push up, hold for three breaths. Stand up, hold for three breaths. Push those hands behind you. Back down again, chair position. Bring your hands up. Oh, the release feels good. Back down into mountain. And release. Fantastic. Now we're going to uh, we're going to progress that a little bit more. If I can remember, if I can remember what, what we're doing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come up. We're going to come into chair pose. Um, so into chair pose. Then we're gonna, this is like, this is called a high chair because you're quite up. We're then gonna take the hands behind and we're gonna come into low chair. So to come down and if you can, let's just come back a bit, lift your heels off the floor. This is gonna be called swan position. Okay, so heels should be off the floor. I'm not balancing particularly well. That's our swan position. Then we're going to come up, stay on your toes, hands together, and then ground your feet back down into mountain pose. Does that make sense? It wasn't a particularly good demonstration because I lost my balance a little bit, but let's have a go at that together. Okay, so we start with arms up, into our chair, take your arms back. Now. From here, I want you to bring your body down, 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 down. And at some point, your heels come off the floor. Lose my balance. And hold for three breaths if you can. When you've had your three breaths, push up, stay on your toes, balance on your toes. Hands together and ground yourself back. Down. I hope you did better than me. I was wobbling around all over the place. Let's do two more. Let's do two more through if you can. Okay, so arms up, chair, arms behind, high chair with the arms behind. Then we're going to sink down, 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 lifting your heels off the floor. Ah, arms up, swan. Three deep breaths. Oh, my head went down then. Push up onto your toes. Push your hands together and ground yourself back down. Let's do one more. We've run out. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit behind my timings, but we'll do one more. So, arms up. Chair pose. Arms behind. Lower yourself down, bring your heels off the, <laughs> off the floor, try and hold for three deep breaths, one, two, three, come up onto your toes, and then hands together, ground yourself back down. 
Very good. If you did that, well, very well done. I, I should have practiced more before I started that one. But uh, I did manage to hold for three breaths on my toes a couple of times. We're going to move on. Um, so take a, take a little drink of water. <laughs> and we're going to do a variation on a sun salutation. So watch me first, and I'm going to show you. This is a little bit different to the sun salutation we did before. This is a variation. Okay, I'll show you the whole thing first, and then I'll give you a chance to do it. So as before, we did an inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, release the shoulders. Exhale, down into plank. We're going to go straight from plank into downward facing position. And we're going to attempt to bring one leg up, leg straight as you can, high as you can. And then we're going to bring that knee in towards your chest three times. One, two, three. We're going to jump forward. Stretch down again, stand up, and arms down. So we're not doing the tricep dip, we're not doing the upward facing position. We're going from plank, downward facing position, three leg extensions, and then your option is to jump forwards or to step forwards. Yeah, so your option is to jump or step forwards. So, with me, okay, ready? We bring the arms up, we forward fold, keep the legs straight, we release the shoulders, inhale, exhale, down into plank, big step back, so we're in plank now, from plank upwards into downward facing position, legs straight, push your shoulders back. Once you're comfortable, bring one leg up, then bring the knee in towards the chest three times slowly, one, and stretch up, and two, and three, now you can either step forwards, or you can jump forwards, into forward fold, a final stretch down as you exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Shall we do that again? Yes, we will. We'll do it through a couple more times. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, release. Exhale, all the way into plank. Inhale, downward facing position. One leg comes up. You can hold it there if you want to, if you feel inclined. We can bring the knee in three times. One, two, three, your choice, step forwards or jump forwards. A final stretch towards your toes. I'm getting closer and closer to my toes every time. So happy. Arms up. Arms <laughs> and back down again. We'll finish in that mountain pose. Okay, one more time through. One more time through. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
into downward position. One leg comes up. Knee comes in three times. Final stretch down. Oh, touched my toes. Legs weren't quite straight though. So I cheated. Now, we are going to do that again. But I just want you to, you to watch me. And I'll just want to show you a little trick. Okay, we're going to do a little trick on the sun sanitation. Then we will do it again. Because you probably need to do the other leg again. Okay, now. When you're in your downward position here, we want to try and get this foot right up in one step, right up between your hands. For a lot of people, that's not possible. You might find you try and step forwards and it only comes to here and you have to walk it in. I'm going to give you a little trick, okay, for getting that foot all the way forwards. Hopefully this will work. So, and then we'll do this, the whole thing through a couple more times. So, if you lift this hand off the floor and step forwards, can you see how much further I've got that foot? Just by lifting the hand up and you do your step forwards. If you still can't get it all the way forwards, one more option you can use a little bit of assistance so let me just quickly show you you can put your hand behind your thigh and pull and can you see how I've managed to get my foot all the way level with my hand in one step so we'll go through that routine again try that try getting a big step forwards either by lifting one hand off the floor or by using your hand and pulling your leg in. Let's go through that again. So you don't need to do the jump, but we're gonna try and do a big step forwards. Are we ready? So, breathe in. Forward fold. Breathe in. Into plank. From plank, downward facing position. Now, I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds. The idea is to bring your foot in all the way up between your hands in one step. So try it with a little bit of assistance and see how that works. Okay, we should be able to get that leg forward and then you can bring the other foot forwards and you're close to being a true yogi. Let's have another go. If you want to do the three leg extensions as well, that's entirely up to you, it's freestyle. So you can do the leg extensions, you can do the step forwards. Let's do it a couple more times. It's a plank. Into downward facing position. Again, feel free to hold this position for those three breaths. Let's get that foot right in. So you're sort of in a lunge position here. And other foot forwards. Second one's the easy one. Have a little hang down into forward fold. And release. Let's do the whole thing through twice more. Twice more. <sighs> Hold the downward position. Feel free to do the leg extensions if you want to. Try and do that big step forwards in one go. 
Ah! Not quite without the assistance, but I'm getting there. One more. One more. Down, big step back into plank. Push your hips back, downward facing position. Push your shoulders right back. Heels don't have to touch the floor, but if you can push them towards the floor, that's amazing. Then we're gonna bring one foot forward in one big step. Try and bring it all the way to your hands. Extra little stretch with the legs straight. Arms up, and arms down. Okay, and finish that section. I'm so hot, all this is making me sweat. We're gonna move swiftly on and we're gonna get down on the floor. We're gonna do a little bit of floor work. Okay, so a little bit of floor work. And I want you on hands and knees, please. Hands and knees. So in our tabletop position, tabletop, I want you to extend one leg out, hold for three breaths, bring the knee in, change sides, other leg out, hold for three breaths. Whatever breathing speed is natural to you, change sides again. Extend the leg, hold that position, three deep breaths. Change sides. Gonna do it one more time each side. Whatever speed you're going, you've got about another 30 seconds. And I'm gonna do my final side. Now we're going to, again, we're going to progress it. Guess what? We're going to be extending the arm out as well. So, same start position, tabletop position. We're going to extend one arm, one leg. Opposite arm and leg, obviously. And hold for three breaths. In, change sides. You might find you're better balanced one side than the other. That's perfectly normal. Okay, change again. And again, when you've had those three breaths, 
change sides I'm going to do one more each side, so you've got about 30 seconds. And stop. So, that's it for that bit. We're going to do some uh, stretches now, but we're going to stay on the floor. Okay, so we're going to stay on the floor and we're going to do our cat and cow stretch. So, Arching your back up into cat stretch. Let your head hang down, relaxing your neck, putting your tummy as far away from the floor as you can, arching your back towards the ceiling. Okay, let's go into cow. So tummy comes down, head comes up. Reverse again into cat. And into cow. We're going to do one more time on each. Arch your back up into cat. Head up, tummy down into cow. Release. Sit back. We're going to do child's pose, but I want you to take your knees slightly apart and take your hands behind and bring your chest down, your head down onto the floor. If you can touch your forehead onto the floor and just rest it there, we're just going to hold that position for a few breaths. Try and bring your bum down towards your heels, bring your head onto the floor. Now we're going to go to extended child's pose, bring the hands forwards, stretch out in front, keep your chest down, push your hands out as far as they will go. Very gently come out of the stretch. Walk your hands back towards your knees. And we are going to stand up. We're just going to finish with a couple of deep breaths just like we started. So, breathing in and breathing out. To the count of four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. And breathe out. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. And breathe out. Four, three, two, and one. And we are finished. Okay.
So, well done for that. There's a few new things in there today. I hope you found that useful and uh, mildly enjoyable. And, uh, oh, I mustn't have two tracks in my playlist, must I? That goes from one to the other. So, well done, guys. Um, hopefully that was useful and uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to come over and chat with you anyway. So, take care. Just saying that I say that because that's for YouTube. That's where I cut the YouTube off. So, I like to do like a goodbye. <laughs>